Well, uh, Neil Armstrong uh, and I got to be acquainted when uh, he was a, a student pilot learning how to land something on a moon. There you go, one minute to take. You gotta take care. See you later. And you know, you can imagine uh, that uh, we had to have a, a, a way in which uh, the radar would tell him exactly how many feet he had left. Uh, and he had to blast uh, by a reverse engine uh, a, a, an air stream going down to the ground to slow him down, you see, and he had to know exactly where he was. Three feet, two and a half, six up some dust. Three feet, two and a half down. Take that out. And lap the third. Four forward. Four forward, drift into the right a little. Thirty. Six, Thirty. Six, Thirty seconds. Two and a half. Thirty seconds. Forward, just. Thanks. On back flight. Okay, engine stop. APA at a descent. Point 13 is in. We've had shut down. We copy you down, Eagle. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twain. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. And Thanks so a lot. We built the combination of the motor to turn on and off the airstream and the radar that would tell him exactly how many feet he had. And uh, we had him and Gene Cernan and a couple of others come down to us in the uh, San Diego area, in Los Angeles area, and we taught them how to do this. And uh, nobody knew whether it was going to work or not. And uh, he, he got to it. So he, he got to be an associate of mine. And uh, after he landed on the moon and uh, we, we made him a member of the Conquistadors and he's been very active in uh, bringing uh, people uh, in the aerospace business, uh, in the lunar business, uh, in the space business, into the Conquistadors uh, themselves and giving them the proper respect. And, uh, but he was a, a member and has been a, a strong friend of mine ever since.